That's the office. So today I thought it would be fun to do a sit down and get ready with me. I know Thanksgiving just happened and we're probably recovering from all that and we're about to head into the holiday season full throttle. And I just wanted to take a moment to sit down, get ready, have some coffee and answer some of the questions that you asked me on my community tab. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. How you doing? That's actually one of the questions that you guys asked me. And you know what? We may ask that to a lot of people, but not really wait for the answer. And we give that standard answer of, yay, I'm doing great, doing great. Oh, by the way, any of the products that I'm using today, I'll make sure I put the links down in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get into it. How you doing? You know what? I'm so glad people asked me that because you know, what you see, just grabbing some primer. What you see here is just a, a small snippet of my personality and how I am. I'm actually a Pisces, so I go either 99 miles an hour or I'm asleep. And I think Thanksgiving really did me in. Um, we hosted this year and there was a lot of pressure because I wanted it to be a great memory for my family, especially for my daughter and my mother-in-law came over and she usually hosts Thanksgiving. So this year it was, oh my God, this smells so good. This year it was up to us, which I gladly wanted to do. Matt cooked the turkey. He also cooked a duck, which we wanted to do something different. That's just us. And I did all the sides. Yeah, it turned out delicious, but I was running 99 miles an hour from Wednesday to Thursday. And I think Thursday night, I just literally fell out. I was tired, exhausted. And I knew going into the holiday season, it, this is just the beginning, right? Oh, this primer is so good. And then we were like, oh my gosh, we've got that party to go to. It, it's a Christmas illuminating party. We go to it every year. It's our neighbors and they're just lovely, lovely people. And so we're excited about that. But yeah, Matt and I and Ava, we love going to this holiday tradition with our friends. It's just a really nice occasion. And it's like the official way of ushering in the holiday season. But yeah, I'm not worried about the holidays. I'm actually, my, the thing that I'm concerned about the most is just creating great memories for my daughter. Now, I grew up in a big family. I had three older brothers. I was the youngest out of four. Christmas was just always an amazing time of the year. And with a smaller family of just me, Matt, and Ava, I worry that she doesn't have, she won't have that same experience. So yeah, I go overboard. I try to get her, you know, a lot. Plus her birthday is the 21st of December. So it's tough. I, I get hit double whammy, birthday and Christmas. So it's interesting and it's definitely a busy time of the year for us. We, we, we like to put our tree up the first week of December, you know, and I think with a lot of commercialism, it's like people are putting up their tree sooner and sooner. It's like, wait a minute, let's enjoy Thanksgiving. Really? I mean, I'm trying really hard not to fall into that trap though. Let me know down in the comments, when do you officially put up your Christmas tree? Even in my family, my Filipino Catholic family, we did not put the tree up until the first week of December. So, and somebody asked me, actually, I'm gonna pull up the questions right now. How do you manage family, work, and cat time? Is it a daily juggling act? Oh, you have no idea. For those who don't know, I do work full time. I do have a family. I am married and I have a 12 year old daughter. This year has been so challenging because now that Ava's getting older and she's participating in school activities and she's on the soccer team, I'm officially a soccer mom and we don't like to miss any soccer games. So we are there at every single game. We like to cheer her on and I know nothing about soccer. I mean, to me, it just looks like a bunch of kids kicking a soccer ball, trying to get it into the, the goal. But it's been really eye-opening. It's been really great for Ava. She's really coming into her own. And it's just amazing to see that growth as a child. And I, I tell you, when she is my mini-me, she is definitely my mini-me. She may look like me, but she has definitely the personality and demeanor of Matt. But I think that's a good combination. It's definitely a juggling act. I know I'm not the only person that struggles with it. We all, as families, parents, mothers, daughters, we all struggle with that juggling act. I take advantage of every single hour during the day. I just do. I get up regularly every morning at 5.15 um, because I have to get Ava to the bus stop because it's kind of far away. So I get up at 5.15, she catches the bus at 6.15, 
And then boom, when I get home, I start planning videos or I catch up on emails and then I log into work. Thankfully, I work from home. I log in around 7.30 a.m. and work till about 4 p.m. Next question, has my daughter taken up horsemanship yet? I, you know what, I wish she would, but right now it's tough because she's really into soccer and I would love for her to have that experience of riding horses. I love horses and I even owned a Tennessee Walker when I was younger, when I was in my 30s and I was actually dancing professionally. And it was so expensive, but right now that's probably not really feasible because it is quite pricey, but she loves animals. We've gone horseback riding when we go on vacation, especially up when we went to uh, Gatlinburg, that area up there. It's so pretty up there. We've done some horseback riding. I, I love it. She hasn't taken it up yet, but not to say it's not ruled out. Oh, I like this question. How long does it take you to make a video, prep, filming, editing? Don't know how many other steps. What do you do with the makeup you don't like? How many steps there are? Well, you pretty much, Rochelle, you pretty much named them all off. Most of the important parts anyway. With filming, the filming part is the easy part. You basically just plan what products you're gonna use, turn on the camera and just go to town. The part that is the most time consuming, and I think if you are a content creator and you're watching this, it's got to be the editing process. That can take anywhere, I'm not kidding, anywhere from six to 12 to 15 hours. Personally, for me, because if I filmed about, let's say on a good day, on a filming day, I film about 45 minutes to an hour of footage, maybe 20 minutes of that is gonna make it through the cut. So you were thinking, well, why does it take six to 12 hours to edit? Because you wanna make sure, A, you're not boring, B, that it's interesting, and that you wanna basically get the point across, especially if you're you know, teaching makeup or showing a makeup product. It's a process I love, and Believe you me, I had no idea what I was doing when I first started my channel. And that was about three and a half years ago. I was definitely flying by the seat of my pants. I had no clue what I was doing. I was filming on my phone at the age of, you know, early fifties. I didn't know how to work a digital camera or how to edit on a laptop. That was all self-taught. And, and actually, you know, just communicating with all, you know, some of my other friends that have a channel as well. Trust me, editing is probably the bane of my existence, but it's also a part of the process, the creative process that I really enjoy. So prep, prepping is deciding what products I wanna test out. Shopping, unfortunately, has something to do with it because you're, you have to look online. What is the hottest product coming out? What is going viral? Is this gonna work for our mature skin? I have to think about all those things that are, again, that are going to appeal to our age demographic. And if you're gonna watch it, and I'll tell you what, the things that don't really get any footage is our get ready with me, unless you're a true and tried fan. And I definitely appreciate that. But yeah, it's it's a, it's a cutthroat because you wanna make sure you get the hottest product and you're the first person to get that review out. I've actually calmed down a bit since starting my channel, but it, it's, it's stressful. Stressful? It is stressful, but it is also stressful. Just going in with this cream bronzer that I, have been loving. It's what I got from Target, it's from Revolution. And I just think it adds the prettiest glow on my complexion. And I love the fact that it's super affordable. It just looks great on mature skin. And I think what I like about my channel is that I do love a lot of drugstore makeup. And when I have the opportunity and the financial means to purchase something that's super exorbitant, super pricey, I take that opportunity because I wanna see if it's worth our money, bottom line. And I like to do comparisons because if there's something out there that's really good, but it's super expensive, and if I can find something, and I'm not gonna say dupable, I, you know, ooh, something that's similar that gives you the same effect, then I'm all for it. And I, and I don't have any qualms about purchasing any of my products at all. But what do I do with the makeup that I don't use? I keep it. And you're probably wondering why. It's actually for research. 
you know, I mean, I kept that Jones Road Miracle Bomb because I don't want you to buy it. I, for me, it didn't work for me. And I know some of you were saying, well, you're not using it right, yada, yada, yada. I like to think that I was testing it over and over and it's just a product I don't like. And sometimes you get criticism for it. I can take it. You definitely have to have a thicker skin on YouTube if you're putting yourself out there. And I definitely put myself out there, but it just comes with the territory. You definitely have to have a thick skin being in this in this social media space. It is what it is. I mean, I was a professional dancer for years and I was criticized 24 seven on everything. Oh, you look fat. You don't look good. You're not dancing well. And so that was kind of a precursor of maybe, you know, carving out some sort of channel and just dealing with that discipline and the criticism. But yeah, I enjoy it. If anything, what I love about YouTube is just creating a place where we can all come together, talk about makeup, talk about our experiences and yeah, just have fun. Because the bottom line is I really want us to enjoy it. You know, I really, really love this blush from Sigma. Recently, they reached out to me and I was so over the moon because Sigma is a big deal, especially when you're a small channel like I am. But this blush is gorgeous. I'm in the shade Sunset Kiss. It just looks so pretty on mature skin. I'm super lucky to have a small channel and still be recognized for the content that I put out. But so grateful. And on that note, I need some coffee. Jennifer asked, hello, beautiful. Hey, Jennifer. I love Jennifer. What is your favorite makeup product to use? The one that makes the biggest difference or impact on a look and which product do you dread? Cannot wait for a new video. I love you, Jennifer. You're so awesome. You've been with me for at least a couple of years. Jennifer C. I'm going to have to go with foundation. You know, foundation is just that. If we can't find a great foundation that works for our complexion, especially being of the mature age, then I think the rest of your face just kind of goes downhill. You can have the best eyeshadow look, the best lipstick, blush, highlighter, whatever, but if you don't have a foundation that makes you feel good, that makes you feel confident, I think that is half the battle. That is, to me, the most important makeup product and has the biggest impact. Which product do I dread? Oh, I don't know. That's, there's not really one product that I actually dread. If I had to pick one, concealer is so, so hard to find because, you know, you've got these delicate lines under your eyes and, you know, trying to find that sweet, sweet spot of the the perfect shade that's gonna brighten a tiny bit, but also look natural at the same time. I think that's why when I find a concealer that I really love, I just stick with it. I have like 20 to 30 concealers in my drawer right now from drugstore to high end, and I keep going back to the same one, which works for me time and time again. Right now, my current favorite is the Honest Beauty Fresh Flex Concealer. So good. I still love my Dominate Cosmetics. That one's a fantastic one. I like trying them out, I really do, but that's the one I kind of dread because it, it'll look good for like five seconds and then within an hour, it just looks bad. I think what I wanna do is go ahead and set my under eye. One of you guys turned me on to it. It's the NARS Translucent Crystal Setting Powder. Ava got into this the other day and she's like, what is that? But it's just a translucent powder that's gonna set that under eye area. It doesn't show up white. It just kind of brightens up that under eye area and makes it look really pretty. And just set it right through there. And it just works brilliant for setting that under eye area in the T-zone like that. Okay, next question comes from Lori. What is the lowest cost product you've ever used and loved? And what is the most expensive you've ever used and loved? Makeup, fragrance, or skincare? Mm, good question. I'm gonna start out with the lowest priced because I can keep that. I have a good file in my head to remember what is the best low cost products that I absolutely love. Recently, recently, it's from Essence and it is their Hello Good Stuff Skin Refining Primer. It retails for $5.99. It is very, very similar to the Cali Ray. Today I just threw on the Cali Ray because I haven't used it in forever and I don't want it to go bad. I wouldn't say they are a dupe, but I think in terms of hydration and blurring the pores, very similar, but at a fraction of the cost. This I've been obsessed with and I just was like, well, I'll give her a rest today and show Cali Ray some love. This one has been making lots of waves here on YouTube because it's beautiful. It really is pricey, $36, yes, but very, very nice. I love it. The Soap Blown Clean Blurring Primer with Collagen Peptides. 
I'm a sucker for any sort of product that has skin loving ingredients in it. I think as someone with mature skin, I think that's, it's not a prerequisite per se. It's just something like an added bonus. The most expensive, oh gosh, eyeshadow palettes. I know Pat McGrath was, is having her Black Friday sale or 40% off sale. I did some damage on that. I did get an eyeshadow palette that I was just adoring for a couple of years and I could not resist the discount. I think it normally sold for $128, but I got it for like $88. That will be coming soon. But the biggest splurge that I've ever gotten, and it wasn't on discount, and I've, I haven't shared this yet on my channel, but I used my Ulta points, is from Chanel. The woman at Ulta totally got me hook, line, and sinker on this. Is it pricey? Oh my God, yes. It is the number one D Chanel Serum and Broom Revitalizing. It's just a serum and a spray, and I believe this retails for $90, $95, but it looks like this. And you shake it up, you can apply this under your foundation, you can apply it over your makeup to freshen up your skin. You guys, this is beautiful. It smells like a freaking spa. It just melts your makeup into your complexion. It just is beautiful on the skin. I tried this out like a month ago. As you can see, I try not to use it every day because it is super pricey. But since I have a lot of Ulta points, I thought this was the perfect splurge because A, it's in the matter of research. It's all in the name of research and I absolutely love it. It just makes your skin so beautiful. It's multi-purpose. You can wear it under your makeup. You can wear it over your makeup. You can spritz it on your face during the daytime to refresh your face. It's beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to, speaking of expensive eyeshadow palettes, I'm gonna do a quick and easy eyeshadow look. And because we are going to a holo, Halloween, I said Halloween, because we're going to a holiday party, I just wanna do maybe like a nice glam eye, not a lot of shadow, just maybe a little bit of shimmer. And I just did a review of the new Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Eyeshadow Palette, and I can wholeheartedly say been really enjoying it. I would say my biggest weakness in makeup is definitely eyeshadow. I mean, we don't need so many eyeshadow palettes. And y'all, my eyeshadow collection is just growing leaps and bounds, but you know what? It's something I enjoy. It's something I enjoy sharing with you. And like I said, if I can find something that's an alternative or not necessarily a dupe, but something that's gonna, I just like sharing. I just like sharing what I got. Oh my gosh, I went, I did some Black Friday shopping and I got Ava the cutest stuff. Shh. I got her the cutest stuff from Too Faced. I think she's gonna love it. I'm gonna show you a picture of it right here. But, um, but then I forgot what else was in the order and I, re I didn't realize what else I got. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of new products coming up just because I purchased it during the Sephora sale or sales that are going on right now. Oh, this is so pretty. Dusty, but pretty. I ain't gonna lie. If it's dusty, I'm gonna tell you. Are there any special things? I think another question somebody asked me is, what are your special things that you do around the holidays? On Black Friday, I don't know why we didn't do it this year. I guess because we've been so busy, is after Thanksgiving, we love to eat sushi on Friday. Or we may have to get sushi this weekend because, and I'll tell you why, after all that heavy turkey and duck and mashed potatoes and gravy and, you know, all the casseroles and pumpkin pie, we love sushi and it's just so light and it feels like you're doing your body good. My daughter adores sushi to the point where it gets really pricey. But yeah, okay. This is a really subtle look. I want it to be subtle. I don't want it to be too... Mm. Just throwing on some mascara. I already put on my eyeliner, tight line my waterline, and just put a little bit of the Maybelline Hyper Easy liquid eyeliner on top because I know it's waterproof and it will last me all day and all night because it's gonna be a long day. Matt's on his way home. We're getting ready to watch the Michigan-Ohio State football game. That is the biggest game of the year, according to him, even more important than the Super Bowl. And yes, we are Michigan fans. He actually went to the University of Michigan. 
um, around the same time as Tom Brady. I'm just throwing on some Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. This has been my go-to. It's just so, so good. You don't have to curl your eyelashes, but it just works great on my stumpy Asian eyelashes. I'm thinking about doing a holiday red lip. I don't know, what do you think? Is it too much? Tis the season. It's the Gwen Stefani lipstick or the Gwen Stefani makeup line. I picked this up several months ago and, and this is the shade Original Recipe. It is your true blue red lipstick. I used to wear red, red lipstick all the time when I was younger. Now I just tend to gravitate towards nudes and whatever's comfortable on my lips. But this is actually a great little formula. It has fantastic longevity and since you know it's a holiday party, we'll be snacking on appetizers and drinking cocktails. I figured this would be the perfect red and like I said, it does have fantastic longevity so I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. What does it smell like cornflakes? Oh, that is soup sprite. Perfect for holiday party. Now, I know I haven't really been wearing much highlighter these days, but I do really enjoy the Bounce Cream Highlighter from Merit. Looks like that. And I just like to warm it up with my fingertips. Just put a little bit right through here. I find that it doesn't lift my makeup. I love cream products, so I feel it's just super subtle, super, super pretty. But yeah, I do have enough glitter from the Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette, the Ethereal eyeshadow palette. And I just, I wanted, I wanted to play with that palette a little bit more because it's so pretty. It's the reason why I selected these products was because I know they're gonna last long because it's gonna be a long day, baby. Yes, it is. I think this is a really pretty look. I think it'll last all day long. Uh, I don't know, we'll probably have to do touch-ups with the lipstick, but I wanted to show you my outfit for tonight. But I thought I'd do something different this year. I saw this at TJ Maxx and Ava was like, mother, mom, please don't. But this is the Christmas skirt that I got. Is it not? the ugliest thing you've ever seen. Well, actually, I think it's super cute. It reminds me of one of the tutu skirts that Ava had when she was little, but. Nothing screams Merry Christmas than a light up tutu skirt. So let's use that most expensive product. I'll show you the product in action. Like I mentioned earlier, this is the Chanel, number one D Chanel serum mist. And it's got a buttload of skin loving ingredients. Is it necessary? Pfft, no, but it's something that looks beautiful on the skin. It looks great under your makeup. It looks great for setting your makeup. It's great for touch-ups during the day. It's just a beautiful, beautiful serum. Set the makeup. I, ugh. And it smells so luxurious. If you want to pamper yourself this Christmas, this holiday season, and you want something that's just decadent, smells amazing, that's gonna make your makeup last, that's gonna make your skin look gorgeous, but this is beautiful. Like I said, if you wanna treat yourself, definitely try this out. It's so beautiful. It just makes your face, your makeup look so pretty. Yeah, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today and letting me get ready for that holiday party, letting me show my ugly Christmas outfit and just answering all your questions. I know I didn't have a lot of questions, but I hope I answered them. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I always enjoy spending time with you and I really genuinely appreciate you spending time with me. I know you guys are super busy, but it means so much to me. So thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Uh, I would love it if you would be a part of our family. And in case you want to hang out a little bit longer and check out some foundation reviews, check out the playlist down here. It's up to a hundred, a hundred. Oh my gosh. And then skincare reviews, it's going to be right up there. But for now, mwah. mahal kita. I love you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.